Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you how to create a project in entrepreneurship and innovation. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, it's very important to understand that this is a proposal of a project. It got the following characteristics. It allows to develop a business, product or service model based on a real need with a promise of value difference from what exists in the market and with a high degree of possibilities of commercial success. Its objective is to generate a project proposal that has a high possibility of improving people's life and being commercialized successfully. This approach is based on a proposing non-superficial alternative with social sense but with a productive and commercial axis. The correct purpose of a project you need to do, first of all, you should be passionate about the theme and topic of the development. Second, develop a winning differentiation value proposition that is not superficial. It's user-centric and not your opinion or what you believe is correct. Okay, so when we are going to develop a project Focus on entrepreneurship and innovation. There are several things that are very important. The first thing is that if you want to have a successful project, it has to come from a real need. Nowadays, we live in a world that has a lot of issues and a lot of problems. So if you want to develop a project with the purpose of being successful, the first thing that you need to do is work a real need. Try to make a situation better of what already is. It's very important to understand from the beginning if it's worth doing it. When you are going to develop a business or create something, it's very important that you understand that this will take a lot of time and you have to be really passionate about it. Important. It has to improve the life of the people. Don't develop shallow developments because it will not help you and it will not allow you to create something different of what already exists in the market. Very important to understand this. Could you do it for the rest of your life before you start developing your project? Add that question to yourself. Are you willing to work in this project for the rest of, the, of your life? If the answer is no, that's okay. It's good that you find out that at the beginning of the process, before you spend a lot of time in something that will not work. Are you passionate about it? It's very important that you like the topic. It's very important that you are passionate about it because that will be key for the success or the development. Okay, after you have uh, answered those questions, start thinking in this. The axis of your project is a real need. It's very important to understand. First of all, innovation is not just technologic. It could be improving something. It doesn't necessarily have to be electronic. If you can do something in a specific, you could start thinking in some different way and understand how can you improve it. And when we are talking about entrepreneurship, if you are going to make a business, it's because you want to make money, of course. However, you have to think and understand that this will help if the commercial success. Otherwise, you will be wasting your time. Another important question is of the need you can develop a project. Uh, that is very important to understand because there are different needs in the world. It's important if you, from that, can develop a project because it's not always like that. Or maybe you have to rethink how to do that. It can be something superficial that is extremely important. When we are working design thinking and user-centered design, we never develop superficial things. 
and that is very important. Um, people ask me if I want to create a shoe company or a shirt company. Okay, that's cool. However, you are not improving the life of anyone with that, at least with that focus. So you have to rethink how to do something different. Very important to understand this when you are thinking in the statement of your project. Never make subjective judgment. It means that if you are going to take a decision, you have to have enough data to do that. It's not about your opinion. Never guess. If you are going to take a decision, it's because you have enough data to be sure of what you're going to do. And never make assumptions because assumptions are a way to guess in something that can be very serious and you can lose a lot of money for that. What do you have to do? Be objective. And for be objective, you have to have data, reliable data. So you have to make uh, questionnaires, you have to make interviews, you have to collect data to see if the idea you have, it can be worked on. Extremely important to have discipline. As if you are an uh, entrepreneurship and you want to develop your business model, keep this in mind. It will be hard. It won't be easy. And if you give up easy, this is not for you. Very important. Because discipline is what makes a project a success. Is it viable or not? Very important. Uh, when you have a rough idea, you have to start thinking how can it you make it happen with the resources that you have. So it's extremely important to keep that in mind. Is it different what already exists in the current market? For here, you answer this question making a benchmarking. If you don't know how to make, make a benchmarking, please check our video here in our channel, how to make a benchmarking because that's very important to know what is already in the market, what they are offering, how much it costs. All of that information is extremely important before you make a statement. Why people will purchase your product or service? Okay, this is a question that a lot of people will never think about it. They say just because you make a business, people will come from nowhere and will buy your product. No, you have to have something different. And that is very important that you develop a value proposition. If you don't know how to make a value proposition, please check our video here, how to make a value proposition. That was our first video in English and in Spanish, because that is the most important thing that any business has to have, because it's what makes it different of what already exists. Do you believe in what are you going to do? That is very important. Besides being passionate, you have to believe in what are you going to do because you are going to spend time, you are going to spend money. So you have to really believe in what you are doing. If you don't believe in what you're doing, no one else will do. And you are wasting your time if you don't believe in what you're doing. So that is extremely important to keep that in mind. Okay, after you answer that question, it's very important that you have a clear overview of your budget, of your finances, how much money you have, what can you do. If you don't have enough money, that's okay. You can develop your project for stages, but for that, you always have to follow up. One of the things is like people believe that already has something and they do follow up the development. So it's extremely important to always follow up whatever you're doing. And of course, it's very important to be focused on the execution of the development and the attitude that you have. You have to be and remain positive. All of these elements in this particular order, it's what allowed you not to develop your whole business model, but to have the statement and focus of what you want to do. If you want to develop an entrepreneurship project and you want to be innovated, you have to keep that in mind 
that it has to help people. It doesn't mean that it will not be profitable. You can do both. But don't make shallow superficial. I, I, wa I want to be honest with you. The world already have enough clothes brand. The world doesn't need that anymore. The world needs kindness. The world needs food. The world needs eco-friendly projects. That kind of stuff. The world needs quality education. So I strongly recommend that before you take any decision, think in what is the focus of your projects because that will help you a lot and you will work in a stage that perhaps no one has ever done before. As a conclusion, we can say that at the end of making the statement of the project, you should have a clear idea of the factible and, rela and relevance of the project. The key in the development of this approach is to be very objective in every step, not to assume nothing unless it has been verified with some tool, with some data, and always have the mind open when you are making decisions. This is extremely important because this is the first step that you have to have before you develop anything. So keep that in mind. It's before that here you say like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. That's cool. With this, you save money and time. If you don't do this and you start developing and just open business, perhaps you will find out that your project will be a big failure. Thank you very much. I hope this video will be a big help in your development. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Thank you to all of you. We are the number one design thinking channel and agile methodology channel in the whole YouTube platform. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.